Hello, so I have a rather fun looking problem here. Um, I quite enjoy problems like these, they, they help keep one's, um, one's skills sharp and they, they can be quite fun and enjoyable. Um, it states that uh, in the diagram A, B and A, C are tangents to a circle center O, the radius is 3.6 centimeters. It asks to calculate the area of the shaded region given that the angle BLC equals 2 over 3 pi radians. Um, this is, is as, uh, as alluded or as stated, this is in radians. Um, and uh, actually I extracted this problem from an A-level textbook. Um, so it looks looks quite good. And uh, feel free to pause the video and work through it and uh, compare your answer with mine if you'd like. Um, otherwise I'm going to go ahead and start working through this, thinking through it. Um, I've already made a sketch ahead of time. I like to make my own sketches. Um, just to save time and um, it strikes me that there are a few different ways that we can solve this um, we could um, essentially drop an altitude or just create a line between OA line OA and find the area the two triangles and then uh, find the area of the sector and um, then subtract that and we'll get the, the remainder which is the colored the, the, the colored region, the shaded region but I'm going to actually approach this a different way. It might require a little bit more work, but perhaps it's a physicist in me. I do like to break things down into components and sometimes deconstruct things quite a lot, and perhaps sometimes excessively, and just think about them. Um, so what I've done here is I've drawn a line, BC, dropped an altitude um, from angle O, and see here, it's going to make it perpendicular, it's going to make 90 degrees. Now we've got two triangles. So what I'm going to do is find the area of the triangle OBC, find the area of the triangle um, BAC, find the area of the segment, which is right here, you can see just um, uh, on the inside of the, of the arc here. Um, and then I can just subtract the triangle from the segment. I'll be left with this area here. And then I can subtract that from um, a triangle BAC. And I will get the shaded region. That's sort of my idea, I think. Um, so, first thing we need to do um, is find this angle right here, and I'll just mark that in white, this angle right here. Uh, we know that the larger angle is 2 over 3 pi. Um, so to find this, let's call this, um, we'll just call, I don't know, I'll call it theta sub 1. Okay, so we'll say theta sub 1 um, is equal to, well it's going to be half of 2 over 3 pi. This is right down the middle here. It's cut in half perfectly to so 2 over 3 pi divided by 2 uh, is going to give us pi over 3 uh, and that's this angle here pi over 3 well, what is pi over 3 that is 60 degrees um, just to convert it quickly into degrees from radian so we've got pi over 3 which equals 60 degrees which is this angle here and that is a important piece of information because we know this angle here is 90 we know this is 60, which means that this has to be 30. It's a 30, 60, 90 triangle. Um, and that gives us a lot. Uh, that, that's very, very useful. It gives us lots of information as to how we can um, approach finding the area. Because the radius we are told is 3.6. That means that this line here is also going to be 3.6. Um, now, with a 30, 60, 90 triangle, what's really useful about this is because we can just recall working with special right triangles we know in a 30 60 90 if i just draw a magnified version here we know that this angle is 60 we know this angle is 30. Uh, now we know that this the hypotenuse is 3.6 right and the opposite of the 30 degree angle is x the opposite of the 60 is x times root 3 that's usually how i remember it uh, with, or another way to think of it is the opposite of the 30 degree angle is half of the hypotenuse uh, and so what we need to find firstly is we need to find x well as I just said x is half of the uh, of the hypotenuse so why don't I just write that here x equals 3.6 divided by 2 which is going to be uh, 1.8 centimeters so we know that this equals 1.8 and now for this side, which happens to be this side right here, uh, this is x times uh, times root 3. Uh, and uh, what is that going to be? 
Um, well, let's just denote that as, uh, let's just call that x sub 1, call this x sub 2. Uh, so what is x sub 2? It's going to be 1.8 uh, times root 3, which is uh, off the top of my head, I don't know this, I'm going to have to plug it into my calculator. 1.8 times root 3 is 9 root 3 over 5. That's our exact answer, um, but we want a decimal value here. I'm just going to get an approximate value. Three significant figures. Let's say it's about 3.12. Right, so, um, and we can write that here. I'll just write that here. This is 3.3.12. Right, so we can update the sketch now. We know the height, um, the height um, is going to, of this triangle, OBC, is, uh, or actually it's not the height of OBC, but, or, you yeah, know, well, anyway, uh, the height here is uh, 1.8, and the length here is 3.12, which is to say that the length on this side is also 3.12. Now, to find the, the area of OBC, um, and perhaps I'll just scroll down to write this, um, the area, area of triangle, triangle OBC, it's going to be equal to the area of, let's just call it a, or a sub 1 times 2, right? Just, or a sub 1 uh, plus a sub 2, however you want to think about it. It's going, the area of a1, a sub 1 is going to be the same as area a sub 2. Uh, so we can just write that equals a sub 1 uh, times 2, which is, well, what's the area of a sub 1? We need to find that, don't we? Um, so I'll just write that right here, actually, A, or maybe I'll write it down here. I'll write it right here. A1 uh, equals 1 half base times height. Well, we know the base and we know the height, so 1.8 uh, times 3.2, 1, 2, um, which is going to give us, let's see, I'll just put that into my, plug that into my calculator very quickly. 3.12 uh, is going to be 2.808, so we could say 2.8, um, 2.8, that should suffice, um, and so we, we can now carry on with the area of triangle OBC, right, it's A1 times 2, so it's going to be 2.8 times 2, which is going to give us 5.6, um, uh, which looks right to me. 5.6 uh, centimeters squared. So that's our area for this small triangle right here, OBC. Um, so that's very useful. Box it off because we need to remember that number. Now, next step would be to find the area. We could work out the area of the segment, um, or the sector, I should say, um, quite quickly. We have all the information. Area of sector. Um, is going to equal one half uh, area of a sector is just one half uh, the radius squared times the angle so one half the radius is 3.6 so 3.6 squared times the angle which is 2 over 3 pi 2 over 3 pi and that's going to give us one half times 3.6 squared 3.6 squared times 2 over 3 uh, and that's 4.32. Is that right? That does not look right to me, just by I. 4.32. One half, perhaps I made a, a typo, times 3.6 squared times 2 over 3 pi. No, no, I was, that's definitely wrong. So I must have made a typo. It didn't look right to me. Um, it's actually, our, our answer is going to be approximately, um, just do this, do it this way, it's going to be approximately, approximately 13.57, let's say, that should be sufficient. Um, so that's the area of the segment here, uh, and of, of what would be colored in yellow, right, the segment up into the arc, up until the arc, so internal to the arc. Um, that's this area here, 13.57.
Now I, we just need to find the area of the triangle BAC. Um, so what I would be inclined to do to find it, would, again, I would just it's, uh, essentially drop an altitude like this. We know this angle is 90 degrees. Um, but we don't know any other angles. We have no more, inf no other information. We know the length of this side. So let's just let's first label this A3. We'll label this A4. We need. Let's just find the area of A th A3, uh, which will be the same as A4. We multiply by two, and we get the triangle BAC. So we know the length of one side. We don't know the hypotenuse. We don't know this length here. We don't know any of the angles. Um, a, B, and A, C are tangents to the circle, center, O. Oh, okay, so what we do know, though, is that uh, A, B is a tangent. In other words, if I can mark that in, try to mark it in accurately, like this. Like, oh, that's not quite right. Something like this. Um, something, maybe I can mark it in a little bit more neat than that. Um, something, something like this, right? It's a circle like that, uh, that's not clear, like this, right, looks something like that. Uh, this angle right here, right, if this is the t if this is the tangent line, if I get my line tool out, draw it like that, like that, draw it like this, right, it's tangent to, this angle right here is 90 degrees, it's perpendicular to the radius, tangent's perpendicular to the radius, 90 degrees. What that means is, um, if this is 60, we know that's 60, right? We found that already, and we know that this is an angle 30. Likewise, this angle is also 30. This angle here is 90. Well, this angle, the angle, the, the 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 whole, the total angle between this purple line, the radius, and the tangent, has also got to be 90. This whole thing has got to be 90, which is to say that this angle right here is 60 degrees, um, which is just pi over 3. Um, and if this angle is 60 degrees, it has to be 60 degrees. You know this angle is 90. That's just, that's leads us to we can well, logically deduce that this angle right here is going to be 30 degrees. So it's another 30, 60, 90. And so I imagine that is intentional. The author of this problem, whoever made this problem, created it. Uh, um, uh, clearly wants one to think about special right triangles. Uh, so we've got another 30, 60, 90. And let's create a magnified version of it to really get a sense of what's going on here. Again, we're just breaking things down into components, really. We've got a 90 degree angle here. We know this is 60. We know the length of this side is 3.12. We've already found that out. We know that this angle right here is 30 degrees, right? Uh, well, we know the opposite angle, the angle opposite of the 30 degrees uh, the op uh, sorry, the side opposite of the uh, 30 degree angle is x. Uh, we know the hypotenuse is going to be x times 2, or 2x, which in this case is going to be 3.12, so x equals this, 3.12 times 2, which is going to be uh, 6.14, 6.14, or 6.24, say 6.24 centimeters um, and now this is the um, x times root of 3 side which is the opposite to 60 degree, 60 degree angle uh, and so we're just going to in other words this is going to be uh, 3.12 times the root 3 which um, so we can get an approximate value um, the exact value of this is 78 um, root 3 over 25. We just need a decimal value, so it's going to be approximately, say, 5.4, 5 5.40, 5 5.4, that's fine. Um, 5.4. So, now we need to find the area of A3. Once we get that, we multiply it by 2, and we've got the area of this entire triangle BAC, the larger triangle BAC. And then we are essentially almost done. Um, so let me write that over here. The area, or I'll just write A3, A sub 3. I'm sure one will understand what that means. A sub 3 is the area here. It's going to equal 1 half base times height. We know the base and we know the height. 
So that's going to be 1 half 3.12 times 5.4. Uh, and that's going to equal, just plug that into my calculator very quickly, 3.12 times 5.4. 8.424 8.424 centimeters squared um, and now so we can say that the uh, area of uh, triangle BAC equals A3 times 2 uh, which is going to equal 8.424 times 2 um, which is going to be uh, 16 point uh, sorry 16.884 eight, eight, or 16.85 should be fine um, so we're going to box that off now we have all the information we need I think um, of the area of the sector this whole thing, we've got the area of this small triangle, the area of this large triangle, right? So, um, so we can write now the area of shaded region. There's actually a faster way to do this, but uh, this way is more fun, I think. So, the area of sh uh, of shaded re of the shaded region equals. Uh, well, first step, we want to subtract uh, uh, area of sector, uh, area of the sector area of sector minus uh, area of this small triangle minus so triangle um, uh, area of sector minus triangle uh, OBC I think is how I denoted it yeah OBC which equals well it's 13.57 minus uh, 5.6 which is going to give us 13.57 Five seven minus five point six is roughly is it eight something it's seven yeah seven point nine seven seven point nine seven and uh, what we then want to do so this value right here seven point nine seven uh, that's this region what we're left with is this in yellow right we've taken the area of this small triangle we've taken the area of the sector we've subtracted uh, to get this space the value for this marked in yellow and now we're just going to basically take this big triangle BAC and we're going to subtract from that this area marked in yellow which is 7.97 and we'll get the red the shaded region which is what we need to find uh, and so we can say then that um, that leads us to uh, the area of the triangle BAC C minus uh, what's left here is 7.97, which is 16.85 uh, minus 7.97, and therefore our final answer is 16.85 minus 7.97 is going to give us 8.88 centimeters squared. That is the area of the shaded region. Uh, which is marked in red.